What's up guys, Mike Wienenbach here. I figured I jumped the Game of Thrones uh, train and make an episode about the mountain. You know why? Because I met him. So it was at the uh, Mount Vernon Barbell Gym. Uh, up, it's a little bit up from here, I'm going to Metro North. And it's the only strongman powerlifting gym we have pretty much in the greater city area. So anyways, I'm taking photos there for a magazine and there he is, the mountain. So I figured from what I've seen from his training and his eating, I shared it with you to see what maybe you can learn from him, okay? Okay, so first things first, the mountain is an awesome dude and I tell you why. Um, those that follow soccer, aka proper football, will know that the Icelandic soccer cheer goes Ooh. Okay, so there's the mountain, he's getting ready to bench and I come up to him and I go Ooh. and he cracks up, like he doesn't say who's this idiot interrupting my workout, right? So that's one. So what I've seen now, this particular workout, the mountain was prepping for the world's strongest man and it was a bench focus, okay? So what did I observe that could be learned? Well, first of all, the workout was very focused. There was a gradual buildup of weights. There was no going to extremes. Let's see what my note says here. So I didn't see any crappy reps, any like beast mode, any like ugh, here, you know. So he worked up his bench to, I would say his 80% somewhere there. He didn't go any higher and then he did auxiliary work such as, you know, the, the seated chest machine, um, some hammer strengths and some flies and sort of thing, you know. But everything was at a very even keel, was very, you know, calm. There was no, look at me, I'm so strong, and I'm not showing off or that sort of thing. The other thing is, of course, if you talk about a mountain, like regardless of training, diet, and supplements, that realize the guy genetically is a freak, okay? So his grandfather, looked this up, had 20-inch arms without ever going to the gym. So like, I don't know what it is with Icelandic people, if they have rocks for toys for kids or whatever that is, but that is just something that is very hard to duplicate. So you gotta understand that when you look at the mountain's training and, and you know, his accomplishments, he had a head start before many people, okay? I mean, he gained 80 pounds of muscle in a year. That's just not normal. So genetics, the training was very focused. Secondly, his training, he also does the boring stuff. So he spent an hour about, you know, benching, incline benching, some flies, but then he did all the stuff that people never do but should, such as pull aparts, face pulls, J pulls, rear delt flies, um, rotator cuff exercises, low and mid, behind the neck pull down. So he spent a good hour setting everything back from pressing, okay? That is something that is, you know, an important take home message because. If the mountain gets injured, he's out of a job. Now, mind you, his joints and ligaments are thicker than most people, and still he does the work, okay? So do the boring stuff. Then there's his diet. So I only saw one meal, and honest to God, it was a pound of steak and a pound of potatoes, at least, right? So the mountain eats about 12,000 calories a day, and it's not junk, it's clean food, okay? So for all this, you're just gonna get the calories in, Nutrient quality matters, and it's also a matter of discipline. So his food, it's, it's, I believe it's two pounds of chicken a day, two pounds of beef, potatoes, and so on and so forth. So it's a full-time job, right? But like I said, it's all clean. I didn't see anything. He had a, uh, had a shake with like some uh, granola, uh, oatmeal, protein powder, and bananas. But you know, like I said, no junk. And then lastly, and this is more like a random observation, he's not a jerk. He's not a douche, okay? He was talking to people, he was giving autographs, like none of this like, oh, look at me, I'm so strong, I don't wanna to talk to anybody, I got my headphones in, beast mode, right? Like, now granted, I train at a gym that is, I, I dub it the douchebag gym, like where I am, because people like, I mean, people like, if they squat two plates, they think they're God's gift to bodybuilding, okay? The mountain was just very down to earth, pun intended, and he was, you know, taking photos of everybody. He was, he was chatting with people. He was just very, very friendly. And that's a world-class athlete. So, take home notes. Genetics matter a great deal. Training has to be even keeled, no half reps, no beast mode, no failure till here. You do the boring stuff also, such as, you know, doing auxiliary work, real, you know, rotator cuff exercises, rear dart flies, face pulls, behind the neck pull downs, food. 
clean, okay? Vertical diet, I think, is what he follows. There's no like, uh, cheese fries, I gotta get my calories in at all costs. And lastly, don't be a douche, okay? If the mountain can do it, so can you, my God.